In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 101 by approximating it to the nearest tenths place decimal. To do this, we'll look for perfect squares nearby to 101. 10 squared is equal to 100. 11 squared is equal to 121. We can see that 101 lies between 100 and 121. Using this information, we can then write 100 is less than 101, which is less than 121. Now we can take the square root of all of these values. Taking the square root of 100 gives us 10, because 10 squared is 100. Taking the square root of 121 gives us 11, because 11 squared is 121. Now we can see that the square root of 101 lies between 10 and 11. However, 101 is a lot closer to 100 than it is to 121. So we can see that the square root of 101 will be closer to 10. So let's find a tenths place decimal close to 10 that we can square to give us about 101. Let's try 10.1 squared, which is 10.1 times 10.1. 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 1 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Add our 0. The whole next row will be zeros because we're multiplying by 0. We'll add two zeros and then multiply our 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, and then 1 times 1 is 1. We then add these values together and move our decimal accordingly, and we get 102.01. So we can see that this is 1.01 away from 101. However, if we do 10.0 squared, or just 10 squared, we get 100, which is just one away. So we can actually see that 10 squared gives us a closer approximation than 10.1 squared. So we can approximate 101 to be about 100. And then we can say that 101 is about 10 squared. The square root of both sides tells us that 10 is approximately the square root of 101, and this will be our approximation.